Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome! In the last video we created a MySQL database and added two fake users for testing. On this episode we're going to create a PHP file that is going to let us get the two users data from Unity. Before we begin I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers, especially those who support me on Patreon. Thank you so much! Now let's begin with the video. I'm going to be referencing W3 skills a lot for these tutorials because I think it's very useful and we can save a lot of time by reusing the code that they already provide. Of course I'm going to explain some of the code but it's pretty simple so we are going to go quickly through it. So I'm going to leave these links on the description. The first thing we need to do is set a connection to our database, the database that we just created here. So this is an example and we're just going to copy this example and paste it on a new PHP script here in Visual Studio Code. So new, I'm going to paste this, and I'm going to save this as, um, let's call this get users. So we're going to call this get users.php. So we're just going to show in Unity all the users that are created in our database, all the usernames. So let me go quickly through this. First of all, our PHP tags, and this is a variable. So to make variables in PHP, we use the dollar sign and then the variable name. We don't need to tell PHP what data type it is. Uh, it's going to know by itself once it sees how we set the variable. So for example, here we have double quotes, so it knows that it is a string. So we have three variables here server name, username, and password, these are all necessary for connecting to the database. So what is our server name? Well, right now we are using localhost, so that's the name of our server. So here you, oh, it's already localhost. So here you should put the URL of your server if you actually have a server hosted online. Then you have a user, if you have your own server, you should use your user uh, from settings. Here we can see that it's actually a uh, root. If we go to um, Unity backend tutorial, I think we can see privileges. Uh, the username is root. So username is root. And I think that there is no password when you use localhost PHP my admin. So let's leave this like that. These are the variables that we're going to use in the connection. You could, of course, just directly type the strings here and here, so you could just have one row, uh, but usually people do it like this. So next we want to create the connection. So there is a new variable uh, called connection, and we're going to set it to a new MySQL I, and then we will provide our server name, our username, and the password, which we already set here. Now, when we try to connect, we can check for errors. So if, and here, if we say that this connection has a connection error, we are going to tell PHP to die. And die is a function that is, if you are familiar with C-sharp, we usually use return. So you just escape from the, from the function or the scope that you're in. Uh, this one here, it says that it's equivalent to exit. So we actually just tell PHP to do this and stop working. So stop whatever you were doing. So here, exit and, and don't keep running the code. So we die with a message and the message, so our last words are connection failed and we concatenate. Remember, we use a dot to concatenate and we concatenate the error so that we can display the error message. So it could be something like uh, we don't have privileges to access the server, uh, the server was not found, etc. We will see that error here. And if we didn't have an error, we're going to echo, that means print, connected successfully. All right, so we should try this first. And to try this, we need to put it inside our XM folder, inside the htdocs folder. So I'm going to get this and go to uh, XAMP htdocs unity backend tutorial where we have our get date now we have something called get users so we still have been finished we're just setting the connection and after we set the connection we're going to get the users but let's try this first 
so we go to localhost slash unity backend tutorial and now instead of get date we want to get users.php and we connect it successfully so if for example we had a wrong server name uh, let's say hello or whatever it's not going to find this and it's going to tell us that there's a problem and it's going to show us no such host is known etc so that's all here in this error message so of course we want to have the correct server name localhost correct username and correct password and we're going to now show the users now we will show the users so we passed the connection test so down here we're going to use some queries that are going to let us select all the users in a specific table so before we get the users we need to add one more variable here and that variable is going to be the name of our database so db name database name is the one we created so is unity backend tutorial so that's the name of our db now when we do a query it's going to know which database to get the information from so I have a link here um, also from W3Schools. I'm going to put it on the description and it teaches us how to create a connection and then use that connection with a SQL to retrieve data. So we already handled the connection part. Uh, we just need to add the one more variable in our connection. So it's the name of the database. So let's add that first here, a comma, and we're going to add a DB name so this is going to connect to our server and our database and then we can copy here from the SQL part all the way down to close connection so we paste it down here and we're going to modify this SQL a little bit because we are not exactly the same so first of all what things we want to show I would like to show the usernames and the levels so sorry, this is called username and the level of each user. So we're going to select username and level. We're not going to show anything else. We're not going to show the we're not going to show the coins or the password that is not necessary. And we're going to select these things, these two things, we're going to select them from which table. So our table is called users. As you can see from here, uh, our database is called Unity Backend Tutorial and Users. So we have the username and the password. We want to show username and level, only those two things. So now we are going to create a result from this connection, which is going to run this query. And here inside this if, so if the number of rows is greater than zero, we're going to do a while on those rows and echo, that means print each of those values that we get. We need to change this a little bit. First is the username, so instead of ID's username, and we, how we get it. So the row is is kind of like an array. So row is actually an associative array. That means that we have, um, if if you think of C sharp, is something like a dictionary. You have a key which is a string. So in this case, the key is the name of the column and that will return a value that is also a string in this case uh, which is going to be your, our username so here we type the same username and we don't need this name here this is not name this is level so level is going to be level and then the last the last row here we don't need it uh, we just delete and this BR here is just a break so that we create a new line when we print the next line. So uh, we're going to echo the username and then we are going to get, this is remember like a dictionary when we get it like this, when we do fetch associate, that means fetch a dictionary. And each row is like a dictionary. So we have a, a key which is the username and it's going to give us a different value on each row 
and then we have we concatenate the level and row get the level and then we create a new line and by the way if this was equals to zero we're going to echo zero results that means our table is empty or we didn't have anything that was a username or a level inside that table and then we're going to close the connection so that's just to keep things clean we're going to close the connection but hey now we can try this so let's go back to localhost and here in get users we're going to refresh this and we have a parse error syntax error and expected connection to variable root up on line 9 let me see what's going on uh, on line 9 uh, connection mm -hmm. sorry guys I had a very silly mistake and it took me a few minutes to realize I have a missing semicolon here uh, so that was the problem now we can try this again and we refresh connected successfully now we'll show we forgot to add a break there but username test user level 1 username test user 2 level 1 let's add a break so that you see how it looks like so we just do it br let's add two line breaks there br br and now we refresh this and you'll see connected successfully and then username and username 2 and there we go we printed the data from our database now we need to call this from unity which is very simple we did it on the previous episode and we're done so let's open the web script in Visual Studio. Now this is the first function that we used to get uh, to get a date from the server. So I'm going to change this to get date, and I'm going to rename this here as well. And we're going to have another function. So we're just going to copy this. It's going to be basically the same thing, but here we're going to call it get users, and we're going to be using this get users function in the future to make the login system. So get users. Now we have to change this URL. So instead of getDate.php is getUsers.php. We do the same thing. We yield return and we check if there is any error. And uh, we're going to start that coroutine on start as well. So here, get users. And now if we play on Unity, we should get two messages in our console, one with the date and one with the users so there we go um username test user level one username test user two level one great and we have the date as well and <laughs> that's awesome so this is not a very nice way of getting our users if we want to get some information from our database we should parse it as a json first and then we can parse it again inside unity and serialize it as an object and that is one thing that we're going to do in a future video, guys, because right now we run out of time. But we did it. We connected to a database. We created some users and we actually got them inside Unity. That's great. So, guys, if you're liking these videos, please let me know by hitting that like button. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload. I'm really excited to continue this series, guys. It's going to be awesome. Let me know if you have any suggestions as usual and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.